I believe that plant proteins actually make us earn our muscle a lot, a lot. They make us earn our muscle. Why? Well, some people eat muscle to build muscle, right? What is animal protein? It's basically muscle. It's muscle tissue of an animal, whether it be a steak, whether it be a chicken breast, whether it be fish, okay? It's the muscle of the animal. So it's kind of a shortcut in terms of building muscle, right? Why not eat plant protein that doesn't have such a potent anabolic stimulus to build muscle, but, you have to, but we have to work harder in the gym to earn our muscle? I say we earn our muscle instead of eating muscle. Earn muscle, don't eat muscle, okay? Hey, you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, so this is a new series. I'm going to make this a new playlist. It's going to be uh, Science of Six-Pack Abs. And what we're going to talk about today is how animal proteins, that includes red meat, chicken, fish, and dairy, and even eggs, can be preventing you from getting a six pack. Now, why should you believe me? Well, if you haven't seen my channel before, if this is your first time, you should, I'd, I, I would encourage you and welcome you to go ahead and navigate some of my videos um, and you'll see just what I mean. Now, I know that some people are kind of a seasonal six pack where they have a six pack just part of the year, and by the way, I'm not a cover model. I'm not a fitness model um, in a sense that I'm going to be six pack abs ready all, all year round in a sense of it being a genetic thing because some guys are just have good genetics and they can have six packs. I've talked about this in other videos. It, it refers to their ability to burn fat first from the abs. But that being said, I'm a lifestyle lean. I have cracked the code on how to get a six pack year round. And if you go to my other videos, you'll see. But you know what? Instead of just sending you there, I'll show you right here. That's year round right there. That's pretty much what my abs look like all the time. Um, I personally believe that plant protein will allow you to get a six pack much faster and also it's going to be much healthier for you in the long term. Now we do have to respect the fact that the World, World Health Organization did come out and they had a position statement and they they really kind of analyzed it down. I mean just so many studies they analyzed and over a long period of time and they made some conclusions on associations with red meat and processed meat consumption and the increased risk of health problems, okay, particularly cancer. Now, that being said, again, that's just the health aspect of it. Um, we don't see that research with plant proteins. In fact, we actually see the opposite. Uh, we actually see boost, uh, a boosting of health, a reduction of cancer risk, a reduction of heart disease risk, and, 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 so, and so forth. Another thing about plant proteins that I like is that they're dilute, okay? So this is something that you're not going to really find in research out there. In fact, I'd be curious if there's going to be studies that come out later, but this is kind of a profound concept. And I, I, I look at, I refer to this as systemic signaling, okay? So when you consume animal proteins, you're, you're, you're basically, it's a complete protein, which is going to really kind of produce a more anabolic response in the body, okay? Anabolic, we're talking about a lot of different um, anabolic factors and, and so forth, okay? A cascade of hormonal uh, milieu or events, okay? Now, that's great for building muscle, but it's systemic. So it's not just exclusive to muscle. It could also be telling other tissues to grow, and, and one of these is fat. Now, can one get six-pack abs eating a lot of animal protein? Absolutely. But I think there's two factors to that. Number one, protein is thermogenic. Um, so you can kind of ride out that metabolic advantage, but at what cost, you know, I, I don't know. Number two, youth. Youth can pretty much allow a person to get a six pack with greater ease. It's just, that's just a fact of reality. Now, in regards to animal protein, stopping the ability to get a six pack, I think it has to do with more than just the anabolic signal. And I also believe it has to do with the gut, the gut flora of the, of the internal environment. Um, Meats tend to be difficult to digest. They have basic, they have no fiber and they have no antioxidants. So they're not really feeding a healthy gut bacteria, okay? So they can cause digestive slowdown and bloating and you get back up and those kinds of things. And so um, when we have, in fact, there's been studies that show that our balance in our gut, in our gut, in terms of the bacteria, can also be an indicator of our leanness or how lean we are versus not. And I believe in animal protein, a diet rich in animal proteins does not, does not feed a favorable gut, uh, you know, microbiotic environment. In other words, to get a cut gut, you need to get a healthy gut, okay? Now, 
when it comes to plant proteins, the proteins are more dilute. They're, they're, they're not as complete or they're not as, you know, stacked up with the, um, the um, anabolic am amino acids, particularly branched-chain amino acids. But that's not necessarily a bad thing if we think about it because if, if the proteins are dilute, you're not going to get an overly anabolic response, okay? And it's going to basically make us eat with more variety instead of just eating chicken, broccoli, and brown rice or or steak, sweet potato, and um, you know spinach or something like that. With such a mundane, basic diet, when you eat a plant-based, when we when we eat more plant-based, we have to be more creative with our. Um, we have to diversify our diet a little more, and that's going to be good in the long run. So, I believe that when we eat a plant-based diet, you're going to be feeding a more leaner and healthier gut bacteria environment, which research has shown this. Um, another thing that I want to say is that the, the, you're not going to get an overly anabol anabolic response to plant proteins, thus you're going to stay in some state of uh, catabolism, which is good. I believe that plant proteins actually make us earn our muscle a lot, a lot, they make us earn our muscle. Why? Well, some people eat muscle to build muscle, right? What is animal protein? It's basically muscle. It's muscle tissue of an animal whether it be a steak, whether it be a chicken breast, whether it be fish, okay? It's the muscle of the animal. So it's kind of a shortcut in terms of building muscle, right? Why not eat plant protein that doesn't have such a potent anabolic stimulus to build muscle, but, you have to, but we have to work harder in the gym to earn our muscle? I say we earn our muscle instead of eating muscle. Earn muscle, don't eat muscle, okay? You're going to end up being leaner in the long run, and you, you'll be just generally healthier. Again, you don't have to be a vegan, okay? But certainly, we, want, we, want, we really want to kind of gravitate more towards a plant-based diet, all right? So part of getting a six-pack is eating more plant-based, and I just mentioned the levels of kind of depth as far as how it impacts our internal environment, and then also systemic signaling, how it affects the signaling. Now, there's not much research on it. Maybe there is, and if there is, please feel free to drop those links below. Uh, some of you really are, um, you know, um, really keen on, on the science and the studies, and I'm constantly learning, especially from many of you. So I appreciate you uh, supporting my videos on my channel and also um, sharing your ideas and thoughts and leaving some great questions because it just, it just really kind of op opens up a positive form of discussion and dialogue and we can all learn from each other and get better and grow together. So basically that's it guys. Um, this is my first video of this um, series. Um, stay tuned for some more videos and uh, thank you for watching and tune in next time.